Hey everyone, it is Gabe from Frame, and today we are going to get into a really important aspect of Frame, which is how to really make kind of a connected metaverse between different destinations. And I'll get into what I mean uh, in just a second. And maybe it's worth framing it in kind of practical terms, right? Throughout this tutorial series, I've been making this one frame for my team. And we've added some cool stuff to it. We've got these web browsers, we've got these links out to the YouTube channel and the frame blog. That's fantastic. We've got some streaming screens. We have uh, some 3D models out here, but let's say I wanna make it easy for people to move to a totally different spot in the metaverse. Maybe I've onboarded another team and I wanna give them their own frame, but make it easy for people to move between these different virtual destinations which is kind of what the metaverse is all about. So I'm gonna show you how, not just to create other frames, but to sort of make it easy for your users to jump between different frames altogether. Okay, so to do this, we are first going to need a few other frames. So really fast, I'm gonna go into the sidebar with the button at the top right. I'm gonna to go to frames, and I'm gonna to go to create new frame. Now this frame is called creation journey. So I'm gonna make another one called Creation Journey 2. And for the environment, I'm gonna pick, sure, the Zen Office 2.0. Okay, I've made that and I'm gonna go ahead and make another one because uh, there's no limit to how big you can sort of make your metaverses uh, in frame. So I'm gonna make another one called Creation Journey 3, but this environment is gonna have the beautiful, calming Serenity Garden. Okay, it says nice, it's yours, blah, blah, blah. Now that's all good and fine, but now we wanna make it easy for people to go jump right to those other frames, kind of have this shared ecosystem of frames, your own metaverse beyond just this frame. So we have some really cool ways to do this. Uh, one of them is uh, with a frame link on an asset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a text label and I'm gonna right click on it, which is a new way you can just edit the asset, which is very cool. It just turns on edit mode and lets you edit it. And I'm gonna call it, go to the office. You remember the one frame I made as that uh, Zen Office 2.0 environment. So fantastic, go to the office. I'm gonna update the text, beautiful, there it is. And now I'm gonna click this checkbox for add a link. And the kind of link that I want is a frame link because we want people to go to another frame when they click this. So I'm gonna have this go to Creation Journey 2. I'm gonna say Set Frame Link, boom. Now check this out. Um, when people click this link, it says go there or nope, I'm gonna click go there. Without even loading a new website, it takes us to our other frame, which is just so cool. And if people were in here, you'd be able to see them just like that. Now we're in here and that's great, but maybe you wanna make it easy for people in here to go back to that resort environment, that other frame. Well, fair enough, we do the same thing. I'm gonna add a text label, and this time I'm gonna call this one, go to resort. And I'm gonna update the text, and I'm gonna add a link to it. And I'm gonna make a frame link back to the original frame creation journey, boom. Now I am gonna go back to the resort. So for the end user, it might not even seem like they're really changing, you know, frames entirely. It just, for them, it just feels like they're moving to different spaces in the same sort of unified metaverse, which is so cool, right? That's a seamless transition right there. So you can see each frame is kind of its own building block in your metaverse. And you can make it easy for your users to go between those different blocks between those different destinations, which is really powerful. Okay, now there's one other uh, really cool way to do this, and this was a little bit of an ugly example, right? This is an ugly, you know, weird button just around here. You can put frame links on images or text uh, or 3D models. Um, if you wanna make it so when people click on this uh, astronaut, right, you can add a link to a 3D model. So there are lots of assets you can add these frame links to. And if you're not familiar with frame links generally, well, I think we actually looked at these in tutorial video two or three, so I'll leave it at that. Now, the other feature I wanna get into very quickly is another way you can set up these 
kind of uh, links to go out to other places in the metaverse. That's with the go to menu. So with the go to menu, um, you can click the edit button and you're given a way to create uh, links right up here in the go to menu. So I'm going to say the name of it is the office and it's a frame link and I'm going to say creation journey two. I got my hyphen and description uh, corp uh, wonderful epic metaverse office. Okay. And I'm going to make another destination called chill garden. This is also a frame link and this one is going to be that third frame we made. Uh, Fill out in the garden. Okay, now uh, take a look at the go-to menu. This shows up for all of your users now. Uh, they have a go-to menu where you they can quickly pop this up and go to your other destinations in your metaverse, which is so cool. So you want they want to go to the office, then uh, you set up the go-to menu here too. These are fully customizable for each frame. They can be different. So. Um, cool stuff. Okay, so that's how you can really think beyond your current frame and really think about your whole kind of metaverse, your different frames that are unified together with your links. Okay, good luck.